So I am starting my Sunday morning off by heading to the swap shop, the flea market. Hope we find some good things. So it's gonna be kind of like a trip to the thrift. It's gonna be probably a short video, but I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. Let's get it. Tons of sports jerseys. Let's see what they got. Williams. How much are the jerseys? Some more jerseys. Not really finding anything good today, to be honest. Swap Shop is such a hit or miss. How much is these clothes? The clothes? Dollar. Thank you. Got a Fila like track jacket, brand new, but they want 20 bucks. Everything is so expensive here. So I think I'm gonna stop going to Swap Shop, and the reason is I feel like I waste my time every single time I go there. I literally find maybe one, two items. I wake up super early, I gotta take the bus there, so I feel like I'm gonna stop doing that. It's just not really worth it at all. And I kinda screwed myself. I woke up so early that the thrift stores, like the regular thrift stores, don't even open for another hour. So I quickly came to McDonald's, got some breakfast, and I waste time until the thrift stores do open, and then we'll kinda continue today's video. I'll hit up about one, two, three Goodwills and another thrift store. So hopefully you find some better stuff from there. But as far as Swap Shop, we only found that Miami jersey for like a dollar it's, it's a youth size too it's something really special but i figured i feel like i need to pop something it's just i don't know swap shop is so different compared to like the cali flea markets it's just we don't have anything that is good got a sausage egg mcmuffin and then a hash brown and then just the plain milk well we have about 30 minutes till goodwill open so i'm just gonna post up outside like I said, I, I kind of screwed myself over leaving a little bit too early and I didn't even charge my bike either so my bike's about to die. It's just, today's not a good day but hopefully find some nice things that kind of turn this day around. The Goodwill workers are pulling up and they're like, are you shopping? I was like, yeah, I, I thought it opened at 9, not 10. He's like, alright, give me 5 minutes and I'll see what I can do. So hopefully they open a little bit early so I'm not sitting outside for 30 minutes but eh, oh well. Finally made it in and honestly, I don't remember I don't think ever actually I've been the only person inside Goodwill, the first and the only person. But let's see what we can got actually pulling up already. Is this an Umbro shirt? Yep, there we go. Nice little Umbro jersey. Damn, the U is missing. It's for four dollars too with that U missing. I don't know if I want to get it for four dollars with that U missing because it's now Umbro. 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 Let's see what else we can find now. Got a Nike USA soccer jersey, with a little dry fit. Dempsey, number eight. Of course, the Dempsey is all peeled off. Eh, it still doesn't look too bad, though. I mean, you can kind of see it. How much do they want? Six bucks. Eh, we'll put that in the maybe pile. Nice little Florida State Seminoles. This isn't like a normal NASCAR shirt, but it's kind of sick. It has like the neon colors all over. I'm not sure if I'm gonna grab it, though. Maybe if it's a dollar. Uh, it doesn't even say explode. Single sided wrestling, got the Enzo. Harley Davidson. Got the Las Vegas 2003. Another Harley Davidson in like this nude colorway. Who is this from? Atlanta, Georgia 2007. Funny, this is the Miami Hurricanes jacket that you see at like TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, and it's seven dollars. But I think at TJ Maxx, it's like what ten dollars or twelve dollars. You can just see thrift store prices are getting pretty expensive. I wonder if this is a custom jacket or not. You have the New York Knicks, with like the big patch on the front and the back. I don't know, uni wear, it's probably just a custom jacket. Got the vintage Nike ACG Outlayer layer number three. But there's no branding at all on this. Oh, I guess, oh, what is this? Oh, it's all like custom. Damn, such a shame. Gotta leave this. 
Nice little Carhartt, little like work jacket. Is F oh, it has stains all throughout. God damn it! I swear, all the nice stuff always has stains. Got the old school USA Olympics with just a small little embroidery right there. Nothing special though. Now this is a real NASCAR shirt. We have the Chase, double sided, and it's a smaller size too. You know, everyone's always want those small sizes. Another Miami University jersey, but this one is so faded and like dirty. Definitely gonna leave that one behind. Another Harley Davidson. What is this one? Harley Davidson of Florida, USA. Nice from 2007 with a little parrot riding the motorcycle. Another NASCAR. We have the Mark Martin all embroidered. Fortunately, nothing on the back, but that is a nice embroidery. Yeah, we might pick it up. We'll see. He's just Harley Davidson shirts for days. So we have the Harley Davidson Dark Side of the Life. And this is Miami Beach. Wow, look at that. Peterson's Miami Beach. As far as shoes, nothing really too special. We got these Air Maxes. Some LeBrons. Oh, these Jordan 7s. $10. Their size 4.5Y. Might pick these up. Well, let's see if someone dropped off all their vintage blanks. So you have the vintage Fruit of the Loom, all these size medium. Got the vintage Tommy Hilfiger like hoodie, just a small box logo though, so we're gonna pass on it. Just too plain. Got the vintage like Miami Beach, Florida Beach Club, little crew necks. Got the simple Huff box logo, size small. Finally, something nice. So we have an embroidered Miami Dolphins. Has a couple like paint, uh, paint spots right there, but to be honest, it's not even bad at all. It's a size 2XL as well. So many people ask to get small sizes and 2XL, so there we go, boys. So not exactly what this shirt is, but this wash is so sick. Like it's like that blue, like acid style wash. Has lava blues. They actually have another one too, but this one's a little bit different. This one's a little bit smaller too. I'm not sure, kind of sick though. Designed with the wheel, Hawaiian lava rock. So I wonder if this was dyed with lava rocks. If so, that is so sick. Honestly, just because this is so sick, like I'm gonna keep that one for personal, but this one's too small for me. So I'm gonna grab this for you guys. And I checked eBay, they go for like 30 bucks or so. You have a new age Grateful Dead shirt, but it's actually brand new with the tags. This shirt is insane. So first of all, it's all tie-dye, but not even that. It's like, has all these images and prints all double-sided, like just craziness. I don't even know what these images are. So I'm gonna end up leaving these for $10, it's not worth it. On eBay, there's one for $12, there's one for $30, so we're just gonna leave those behind. Make sure we're not passing anything else. Uh, I think that's good. Let's just take these t-shirts and we'll go on to the next thrift. Well, my backpack has reached its limit. I literally probably can't fit another t-shirt, but we do have one more thrift store in this plaza. Then I'm probably just gonna head back home. I wasn't hit up another Goodwill, but it's just I don't have space. My back, my bike already died, so I am pedaling it. It takes forever to pedal that bike because it is so heavy. So unfortunately, we're probably just gonna hit one more thrift store and then go home and just kind of see how Captain's doing. So this is like their designer section. They have the Versace collection, 24 bucks. Other than that, nothing really too special in this section. Let's see if there's any good sneakers today. First glance, literally nothing. Some Tevas, just nothing. What are those? No good shoes. Got the Reebok Miami Dolphins pullover. Fortunately, 15 bucks, too much. I really thought this was going to be a guest stripe shirt at first, but just a vintage polo. And they want $8, it's way too expensive. This thrift store is the most expensive thrift store, I think, in the uh, Fort Lauderdale area. Brand new with tags, Marlins. Not exactly sure what year this is from, though. But they want $8 again, it's just, you know, too expensive. $8 t-shirts, that's how much are on my website. I literally have $7 to $10 t-shirts on my website, so I can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. I'm probably just gonna head home to be honest guys. I'm not really finding anything good. Literally nothing good at all. Just a waste of time. Yeah, let's head home. What up Cap? How are you little guy? How are you little man? I love you. Oh man, I finally made it back home. I am dying. I'm gonna, the, I'm gonna throw the clothes that I got in the wash 
While I'm doing that, I'm gonna quickly shower because, yo, your boy is, I'm dying. Like, I don't realize how much work it is when I don't have the electric bike. You know, electric bike can go 20, 25. On a regular pedal, I go like five miles per hour, so it's totally different. So like I said, I'm gonna quickly take Captain out. I'm gonna throw the clothes in the wash. I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done. Look at all these t-shirts, it's full pile. So before I show you guys the finds of today, I quickly wanna show you guys my favorite t-shirt. Now, these t-shirts, I literally used to be obsessed with when I was younger. Like, I literally remember my mom buying these when I was younger. So as you guys can see, they're literally like plain colored, right? Like black and white. Now let's go take them in the sun and watch what happens. Of course, the sun isn't that bright, but you guys can already tell. Basically, it changes colors in the sun. Like, you can see the frog's eyes are turning red. This is turning red. This is turning yellow, faded into red. If the sun was more out, I could definitely do it, but it's not out. But these shirts are literally my favorite. These are gonna thousand percent stay in my personal collection. I wanna say that they still make t-shirts to this day. The company is called Del Sol. And I remember I actually told my mom, I was like, yo mom, do you remember me having this like when we were younger and everything? And she's like, yeah, I actually remember having nail polish from this company. So these are literally going straight in the personal. Like I'm not selling them, I'm sorry. Like. I know it's probably not even worth that much, but it's kind of worth more sentimental. And also with yesterday's fine, I, I don't know if you guys realize, but obviously I don't uh, wash, I don't dry my t-shirts. Whenever I get personal t-shirts, I wash them in the wash and then I hang dry them. This shirt is probably one of my favorite t-shirts I own right now. And that kind of says something because look at this thing, like the acid wash on it with like the colors on it, it's just so crazy. We did pick up a size smaller one, which I'm actually about to show you guys now. But this thing is just, oh man, this thing is insane. Definitely one of my favorite shirts, and it's going straight to the personal. All right, so now let's show you the finds of today. So to start it off, we have this Harley Davidson Las Vegas with the like casino all throughout. This is from 2003. And then on the front, we do have the Las Vegas. This is a size XL. Next, we have a youth large, which probably fits about a men's small or medium, but again, Everything you see right now will be linked down below emcvlogs.com with the measurements. So make sure you guys check it out. Again, every single purchase really does help make these daily videos. You guys have been killing it the past two months, so I've been making the videos for the past two months. So you guys support me and I will continue making this daily content for you guys. So we have the Miami Hurricanes, again about a size small medium jersey, number 12. This was the other shirt that I showed you guys. Unfortunately, this fits about a small, well probably about a medium, small medium again. But again, measurements will be in link down below. But this is another one. We have the Hanu, Hawaii, the Lava Blues. This is a reprint retro of the Grateful Dead, size large XL. This shirt is just insane. Like, all throughout purple tie-dye with all these little figures. I was going to keep this, but it's a little bit short on me. It fits about a true large, just all double-sided. Probably about a size medium. We have the Nike Dempsey jersey. Unfortunately, the back is all faded, but to be honest, it kind of gives it a nice little look, you know, that solid red. You do kind of pick up the number, but, you know, it's, it's kind of neutral. It's kind of nice. Another Harley Davidson shirt, we have Florida with a parrot riding the motorcycle. This is about a size large. Size small, we have the double-sided wraparound NASCAR shirt. You can see it kind of wraps around to this side. Atlanta, Georgia, you have the Skyline, the Harley Davidson on like this new tan colorway. And then on the front, we do have Harley Davidson motorcycles. This shirt, I wanted to keep as well, but it already sold because shout out to you guys. If you're not following me on my Instagram, I would definitely recommend following me on my Instagram at DITR954. Literally, I post stuff that I find as I find it in the thrift store, and it sells probably before I can even leave the thrift store at sometimes. You know, people will either PayPal me, cash at me, or I'll just throw them up on the website and then they'll quickly buy it. So if you guys follow me, you'll probably get first dibs. You know, when you guys see this, it's usually probably 24 hours after I bought it. So unfortunately, you guys have a little bit later dibs on it. But this is a size XL. You have the Miami Beach. And then on the front, we have the Dark Side of Life. And then last but not least, we have size 2XL, Miami Dolphins. Unfortunately, there is two paint splats, but other than that, pretty good, it's all embroidered as well. And those were the finds of today. You know, nothing too crazy, but it is something that you guys can buy for yourself. Again, check out link down below. T-shirts range seven to $10, jackets are about $20 and up. Shipping ranges from four to $6. 
Jackets might be $10 if you're in the United States. And then basically anyone outside the United States, unfortunately, I'm sorry, it is just super expensive. To just give you an example, to ship a t-shirt inside the United States, it takes about $3, maybe $4. To ship outside the United States, it takes about $22. It's insane how much it costs to ship international and I'm so sorry for all the international people that want to support and help buy something But it's just it's so expensive. So unfortunately I have to charge a lot But if you enjoyed today's video make sure you smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you're not subscribed I will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. for another vlog and don't forget guys. Let's get it